Hey guys, I'm here with an actual power wagon. Uh, I'm going to do a BEC plastic dip. Uh, <clears throat> normally don't run a BEC on these models, uh, but this is all my old motor setup um, out of my crawler. It came with a BEC. Uh, I have one on it. Probably going to go brush, brushless with that setup. So, show you how to waterproof your BEC, if we can get it to focus, probably not, um, that way waterproof it and you can still have everything you need for the mud and be good, you can use it for a crawler setup, go play in the creek or something, um, here it goes, got it, <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys the steering works, oh, let's see if I can come out a little bit, Well, this is just a, not the permanent setup, just kind of tweaking here and there. It's just trying to get everything waterproof before I finish everything for the mud. Uh, but I'll show you how to plastic dip it, waterproof it, and then I'll show a video. Uh, I'll dip the BC in the water and still turn it so that way you know it, it's true. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, you can tell it's been plastic dipped before on the crawler. Um, probably some of you say, yeah, well, black plastic dip, can't see the light. Well, stuff's easy to cut off if you ever, do ever have a problem. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap an electrical tape around it. I got the tape on it. Um, I do this kind of keep the wires uh, together because I'm going to use the dip. <clears throat> which is a lot better than the spray. Here's uh, the plastic dip I'll be using. I usually get it in a tub form like this uh, any local hardware store because what I do is I actually uh, I like my battery, the LiPo 3S, just dip it, pull it out slowly and get a nice even coverage versus just trying to spray it and um, it gets to be tedious, gets to be a pain. Uh, I just prefer this method over painting it. Alright guys, I got my BC wrapped the way it should. Uh, I got my plastic dip. Essentially, the only thing you're going to be doing is dipping it in, nice and slow, pulling it out. Um, then put some paper down. Just because it does tend to get messy. But, uh, here we go. I tend to dip quite a bit of it in. Just cause you never know. You can always peel it off. It's not a big deal. We're looking for nice even coverage all the way around. Just pull it out slow. This is probably going to drip. Now you can see that right there didn't get covered. Put it back in there. Um, usually this stuff's a little bit thicker, but this time it just ain't <clears throat> ain't as thick. I stirred it up. There we go. Nice, good, even. That is what you're looking for. All right, <clears throat> let my BC sit. 24 hours is what you should get. Got some water to prove that this really works. Turn on the radio. See if I can plug it up one-handed. I uh, may be able to. Got it plugged up. Put the BC in the water. Let's see. Submerged. 
And still got steam. Still got power. And that is how we dip a BC to be waterproof. Now I know you can buy a waterproof box, but it's cheap DIY method. And if you have any problems, you just cut it off.